If you're in the midst of figuring out the direction you should take your career or what focus of business you should be investing in, today's video is for you. I'm going to be sharing the four future of work trends that's going to help you build the business and career that's going to last through the test of time. I'll be sharing why it's important to include this one key ingredient in your ideas, how to make a living while being location independent and travel if you want to, what sort of business is easiest for you to start right now, and how to earn more with your expertise and your skills. Escape the nine to five and create your path to freedom. If you're new here, it's your first time here. I am Lydia Lee. Welcome. I'm the freedom instigator from Screw the Cubicle. And I've spent about the last six years, six and a half years of my life, mentoring and guiding professionals just like you to repurpose their skills and gifts into a business they can love and with work that they enjoy. So if you're really excited to learn how to transition for working for someone else to working for yourself, you are in the right place. All right, let's start with trend number one. And that is a meaningful career needs to include the idea of profit and purpose. So if you're someone that not only wants to make money from the skills you've got, right, and start a business or an independent career of your very own, you're very likely also wanting to work on something that you have deep interest in. And deep interest really counts for sustainability and the longevity of a career and definitely in a business. Now, when you're deeply interested in the thing that you do, so when you look at all your variety of ideas, some of them may have come from filling a gap in the market or a problem that you see going on in your community uh, or in your world that you want to solve. Uh, in some areas of work, you know, you might want to actually think about how can I make this more meaningful? And you can make it more meaningful by looking at things like the people that you help, the cause that you're impacting, and the goals that are almost like this ripple effect of your work leads people to a transformation right, to an outcome that you can really stand behind. And you know that your work really has deep impact in a problem that you see happening in the world right now. So thinking about money is excellent for business. Your business definitely needs to make money. But for you to feel really connected with it and to last through the test of time, you know, what I mean by that is, you know, business is hard. Doing anything new for the first time is going to be a learning curve. It'll probably take you one or two years to really get your footing and get on the go to replacing your income and making great money with your business. And you've got to learn again. And so that part is non-negotiable for every new entrepreneur. But let's not make it harder by doing something you don't enjoy or doing something that doesn't feel meaningful for you. So when you can make money doing something you're passionate about, that again, if passion is a, a word that sort of makes you feel a little hooey-wooey, <laughs> Is that a word? Um, you can think about deep interest. What I have deep interest in that either affects the future of um, a solution that I want to be a part of, right? A cause I really care about. I can see myself talking about this over and over again, right? And not getting bored about it or growing my work meaningfully in the future years to come. Those ideas on your list that can tap into that deserve a way higher rating for you to consider. All right, trend number two is not going to be a surprise to you because if you're on my channel, this is probably something that you really want in your work ingredients as well. And trend number two is location independent careers is going to allow you to create your ideal lifestyle. A lot of us that are in the working world right now are feeling really frustrated about how we spend our time, whether it's commuting to work, right, or clocking out too late just to you know, prove a point to our boss that we're committed to our role and get that promotion, we're kind of tired of playing that game. So the big trend in the future of work is to create more flexible working models. And the great time that we live in right now, remote working, uh, location independent roles, right, freelance careers, uh, consulting work, service-based businesses, those are all such a doable work model for a lot of you guys that are listening right now that are advisors, people that give advice that can consult, you know, people that can lead people through a transformation uh, or be implementing things for people. And very likely, potentially the work that you can do doesn't need to have you chained to a cubicle desk. And this is a trend that's really better for our well-being. 
right? A lot of us are craving more meaning in our personal lives. We're, we're uh, valuing time as an asset more than just our paycheck. We want to be there for when we want to raise our kids, right? We no longer just want to rush back after maternity leave <laughs> to raise our children when we want to be home with our kids. Whatever that reason and motivation is for you uh, to be able to have flexible working hours and a flexible working model, this is a concept that's going to be super important when thinking about what business you want to start and what ideas are going to allow you to achieve the lifestyle goals that you want. So really think about what would you like to include in your day-to-day -day life? How can you build work? If you look at all your ideas and discern them or rate them, right? Think about which ideas allow you that flexibility and what kind of flexibility that you might need. If you don't need to travel the world and be a digital nomad, don't. If it's part of it, so you still want to service your community, but be able to do it from home and raise your kids, then that model of working really works for you. If you want to teach online and sometimes have retreats, right, live in person once a year, that could be a model for you. So don't forget that um, with technology, you can earn a living, right, doing things from just your computer, but also think about the access of global clients that you have, re you know, you can have access to. So no longer do you have to compete with someone that does what you do in just your neighborhood and your community. You can expand your business and your brand worldwide. I work with people from three continents around the world, from anywhere that I decide to live in every single year. And that has been such a gift to allow me to live the ideal lifestyle that I want to have as well. Now, this third trend is a tip that I usually give a lot of my coaches when they are thinking about what kind of business can I start that might allow me that location independency, but also allow me that flexibility of working that I don't have to invest a lot of big money on right away and start to have inventory or a building where I might need to actually be conducting my working hours at. So. Trend number three for the future of work is that service-based businesses is an easy way to start and make a living really quickly when it comes to replacing your income. Now, why is service-based business still a sought out model? Now, of course, there's so many types of business out there and there, I love all of them, depending on your personality and what it is that you're willing to do. But service-based businesses are really great for people who are already in a service-based industry, right? Whether you're in marketing or advertising or at some, at any advising role or a, a role that you play where you are a people to people uh, sort of industry or a niche, right? And service-based business are still sought after because people need people. Yes, in the world of automation and robots and AI uh, and automated responders, people are still craving the human touch. And the great way about bespoke, customized, and high-touch services, like a service-based business, is that you can charge more for it because people pay more for intimacy. They don't just pay for information. They can find that on Google. What they pay for is accountability, mentorship, being told that they're great and motivating them to continue, someone they can ask some great uh, questions from and get answers quickly. That is the level of service that you can charge more from. So this trend allows most people who are in a service-based industry to start business like tomorrow, without having huge assets of inventory, they are the asset and you are the brand. And that's a really, really great way to jump on a future of work trend and maybe start working for yourself a lot sooner than you think. If you're someone that loves variety, but you don't wanna be creating all the time just to make a living, this trend is for you. So trend number four is you can expand your work through different streams of income. Now, you have built very likely many years of expertise in a particular industry or life experience or just even simply going through something personally on your own, that is experience that you can bank on. And very likely you want to grow in that work. You want to build mastery and skills in there. And I'm someone that gets bored easily when I'm doing the same kind of work over and over again. So having that growth potential, right, for the 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 talents and gifts that I'm producing or, you know, problems that I solve in my business, that needs to have that variety. But I don't want to be able to, I don't want to have to deliver it, right, the same way over and over again. I need to keep myself on my toes uh, so that it keeps me interested in my business uh, and I'm passionate and I have deep interest to continue growing my business. Um, so the great thing about the future of work trend of looking at new ways, right, that you can deliver your expertise in different ways, not only helps you to earn more money, it's gonna to help to nurture and challenge you in uh, you know, all these creative ways that's going to help utilize different skill sets and strengths that you have. 
So for example, what I usually teach my students uh, in my coaching programs to help uh, everyone go from idea or ideation to a launch of a business, one of the big focuses that we mentor on really deeply is to come up and to design the framework of the and the process of their work. And what is a framework? A framework are concepts, philosophies, knowledge bases, resources, all the things that are packaged up. It's almost like your formula to be able to do what you do, right? And once you get that tight, and that's such an important piece of giving value and know how to articulate your value so people will pay you right for this process is to then look at that process and pick and choose parts of that process and do something different with it. So for example, for me, I have a particular framework, right? That I do over and over again and repeat with every single client, right? Of course, there's some nuance in how people learn, but the concepts are pretty much the same from beginning to end, how to go from working for someone else to working for yourself. There's some key things that we coach on that allows that to happen. Now, what I do is instead of just coaching and doing that repeatedly, there are times that I would do workshops or retreats or speaking gigs or writing a book that's coming up for me all about these concepts. So same work done in different ways. And that's a really, really creative way in the future of work trend to keep you creative and having variety in your work and also adding more ways to earn an income with your expertise and your skills that you already have. The future of work requires you to take charge on how you want to design your body of work and how you want to make a living. So in order to help you kickstart how you can take that control and outline for yourself, what's that model of working that really means something to you, that's going to help you feel creative and utilized in the right way, right? What sorts of focuses of interest uh, and types of topics or niches that you would like to explore based on what you know today and the skills that you've got today so that you have some direction, right, of where you want to bring your career or what business to start. I'm going to be giving you a free training literally called What Business Should I Start? Which is about an hour long training video, a video training that's going to walk you through the process and it's going to include a skills repurposing workbook that's going to help you take some of your talents and gifts and package that up towards a, a, a way of working that's going to help you earn a living independently. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and hit the little, I think it's like a bell icon. <laughs> so trying to get the YouTube icons right. Uh, and that way you can be notified every time I release a new video every single week. And of course, give me your comments. What did you take away from this video today? What would you implement uh, in the ingredients that you need in your future of work? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, and of course, if you like this video, click the like button so that I know that you do and more of this video will be shown to more people. And don't forget to share it with people uh, that you think would benefit uh, from watching this as well. So uh, as always, I'm always wanting to learn more about what I can support you on. So don't forget to also leave me a comment uh, on what do you want to learn? What do you want me to film a video on? What sort of problems and frustrations that are keeping you up at night when it comes to being self-employed? I would love to be able to answer your questions in our Q&A sections uh, or produce one of these videos for you and dedicate it to you in my next video. See you next time, Cubicle Crashers.